A toilet's water level is controlled by the ballcock supply valve and float ball. This assembly will need to be repaired or replaced if the ballcock supply valve is corroded, the float rod has been or broken, and or if the float ball is no longer buoyant. Since the ballcock supply valve is an older design and takes up more room in the tank, it should, when replaced, be with a new fill valve system. However, if the fill valve is not available, a new ballcock supply valve assembly can be installed. Purchase a ballcock supply valve at a hardware or plumbing supply store. This kit should include the valve assembly with float ball, connecting rod, and plastic fill tube. Additionally, a small plastic bin to collect excess water will be needed when the old ballcock supply valve is removed. The tools needed to perform this repair are a pair of rib joint pliers, an adjustable opening wrench, and a flathead screwdriver. Begin the replacement of the ballcock supply valve and float ball by turning off the water supply valve. Then remove the tank's lid and flush the toilet. With the tank empty, position a plastic bin to collect water under the ballcock supply valve shank. Unscrew the hose from the base of the tank, having any water drain into the plastic bin below. Now with an open and adjustable wrench or rib joint pliers, unscrew the lock nut located on the bottom of the ballcock supply valve shank. With the nut removed, the entire assembly can be pulled out of the tank. The old assembly should be placed into the bin as it may continue to drain water. With the old assembly removed, take the new ballcock supply valve and slide the tank gasket fully onto the shank. Then adjust the height to best suit the height of the tank, usually around one half inch below the edge of the tank and aligned with the overflow tube. Insert the threaded end into the hole where the previous assembly was removed. Position the new assembly and thread the lock nut by hand securing the tube upright. Once hand tight, secure the lock nut a quarter turn further with a wrench to ensure a watertight seal. Now reattach the water supply hose to the ballcock supply valve shank below the toilet. Then connect the fill hose to the top of the ballcock supply valve and attach it to the overflow tube. Once in place, turn on the water supply valve and the tank will begin to fill. Make any adjustments to the water level by twisting the screw at the top of the ballcock assembly. The tank's water level is best at about one inch below the top of the overflow tube located in the center of the toilet. Inspect the new connections to make sure they are not leaking water and test the toilet's function. Once in order, replace the tank's lid to complete the project.